I consider myself a gamer. I consider myself lights on, actions on, I do work. Well, that didn't go as planned. You don't hear this from a lot of people. I just wasn't strong enough today. So uh, does it suck a little bit? I'm gonna try to just ignore it. I mean, it sucks because all my friends were here, you know? It sucks that you guys followed along this journey. Uh, I read all your nice comments, tons of DMs, tweets, good luck, all that feels good. Uh, all the homies were here in the crowd um, and I just didn't show up despite my prep. So uh, kind of typical warm up. I did everything except for a belt squat, which I'd typically been doing to kind of wake up my legs and get a little extra fatigue in during prep. So I uh, did a salt bike for five, 10 minutes, just moved around a little bit. Uh, the weather was perfect. It was warm, which is a good lifting condition for me at least. It was probably 80, 85. And then started turning on some real music. Uh, a lot of people were around the deadlift platform, which was cool. There was one guy, it was me, Kalkin. Kalkin was probably opening around 570 or so, 550. Uh, and then there was one other guy in our flight that was opening around 660 or so. He's a strong dude. I, I don't know his name, but so it was us three kind of on the same platform. And there got a little circle around the platform, which is cool. It got me in a good mood. I, I, I've talked about it many times, just being self-aware, I like the, the spotlight, I like a little attention, so I was feeling good, vibe was good, pulled uh, kind of the weights I can start to tell is maybe like 315, 450 and around five, how they feel and how they move, if it's going to be a good day or a bad day, and to be honest, uh, I thought it was going to be a good day, I thought I was going to pull some magic out my butthole, um, 315 felt like nothing, when 315 feels like, uh, it's before I put on my belt, so when 315 feels like 135, I know it's a go time, and then when 455 and five or so, to, regardless of how they feel, if they move fast, if I'm fucking snapping my legs, um, I know it's go time too, and so I snapped like 420, pre, or 520, pretty fast, pretty good, uh, then I think I took, maybe I took 501, 530, 570 was my last warm up, and all of them moved pretty dang good if I do say so myself. Timing was pretty good, so I just went in the back, baby powdered up. Uh, my opener was 606. You know, the goal was just to beat 650. You know, I had 670, 680 in my head. Um, and then if I pull a miracle out my butt, which I've done before, I've done before, uh, I thought maybe maybe we'll, we'll, we'll try to tackle 7-11 or what's next above 705. But uh, like I said, things did not go as planned. Open 606, felt extremely heavy, but actually moved pretty good. If you check the video, it's on Instagram or right on here. Uh, moved pretty well. So then I, I was gonna jump to either 644 or 650. Um, I typically recommend for any power lifter, but uh, almost everybody I've coached and myself, we take about 5% jumps, give or take, in a meet. Uh, anywhere from, you know, yeah, three and a half to 7% jumps, I guess, depending on how good or bad you move the previous rep uh, and, and depending on your overall goal. But generally speaking, 5% jumps are, are a nice, nice pace for that. Um, I think 644 would put me at exactly uh, 5%. So we went up maybe a hair higher. I think I rushed it. Uh, I don't think I rushed it enough. I think I was just too weak. I didn't get very fired up for the 655. Like I said, maybe I wasn't nervous enough. Maybe I didn't visualize enough. Maybe I didn't mentally prep enough. I'm not sure. Definitely, like we talked about, my preparation for the actual meet wasn't enough. My training wasn't what I needed. I wasn't physically prepared. Go!
mentally, I think I was there except for the adrenaline, the adrenaline and like my nervousness. So I wasn't nervous, which is good and bad. I think I need those nerves to fire me up, and I think most athletes do. You know, Michael Jordan is quoted saying that the day he's not nervous for a basketball game is the day he retires. Uh, and I'm a similar fact. I think you need to be somewhat excited slash nervous before everything you go into because you want to perform your best. And I did in a way, but for some reason it just wasn't there. So um, decided to take 650 again, although my back started to tighten up a lot. Uh, I gave it another good fight, and that's just kind of what happens. Uh, probably the only me in my entire life that I've underperformed or underwhelmed myself. Uh, a little disappointing overall, uh, but you know, just like everything else in life, you start to detach yourself from what you're actually doing. You don't put a label on, I am a power lifter. And so it doesn't define me, uh, doesn't define my career as a lifter, as a coach. And that's what, uh, you know, losers probably tell themselves. And that's what you guys are gonna tell me. But uh, uh, I still feel good, I still feel confident. Uh, I pulled um, the best I could with the time given and where I put it on my priorities, right? So I, I put other things first in my life and that's the results you get sometimes. There's only a certain amount of things, even if unrelated, but, but especially when they're related, but unrelated, there's only a certain amount of things that we can put all our energy into and try to improve upon. It's gonna be really difficult if you have five hobbies, a couple businesses, uh, family, friends, dog, if you have all these things and you're trying to make them all optimal, perfect, and streamlined, it's gonna be really hard to do multiple things, right? I think we can be really good at maybe three, four, five things at once. Um, and not that you can't do all those things, but you can't be the peak performance or optimal performance in all of them. And so for me right now, powerlifting, um, wasn't one of those. You know, I have the podcast going on, I have Kaizen going on, I have my YouTube going on, I have my Twitch going on. I have my family and my mother that's been really important. We moved her out of a new house, as I talked about. Um, I, have, I have Connor and my friends that I want to hang out with and have a good time. Uh, so just different priorities, different strokes, different folks, but that's what it comes down to. Not an excuse, but just the fact of the matter is I didn't put in what I should have and I got the result that happens. Uh, it would have been a miracle if I would have done something crazier, um, which happens here and there, but it, it wasn't today. So uh, on to the next thing, right? On to the next thing for me is probably just going to be lose a little bit of weight. I'm going to take away some time from the barbell, allow my back to fully, fully heal. I know there's some haters out there. Mike, your back's so hurt, no wonder. Um, and it feels fine. It feels fine. It's stiff, but it feels fine. So we're going to do some unilateral leg work, some dumbbell work, some kettlebell work, try to have fun in the gym, try to get back to a healthier body weight. And I don't know if I wasn't nervous because I was felt prepared and confident or if I wasn't nervous because I didn't care. And again, like I said, the Michael Jordan quote, all those things, I'm not sure where that is. And that's something maybe I won't ever know, or maybe I'll have to learn at a different meet, a different time. Uh, talked about you know retiring from powerlifting, who, when, why you should stop powerlifting. And the other thing I'm trying to do is just take my days day by day. There's gonna be other powerlifting meets. I'm turning 30 this summer, which feels old. My body feels old. And was like, Mike, you're not old. My, I put my body through a lot, man. I was an insanely aggressive basketball player playing at a fairly high level for 15 years. I've been thrashing my body for another eight to 10 years, hard powerlifting with no time off. Um, so for me to be able to mentally just take a step back, find out what's healthy, find a better flow in the gym, hit some cycling, maybe even some yoga. Uh, I wanna try some light strongman stuff, see how my body works in different planes. Again, the, the kettlebell stuff. So I think physically I probably wasn't as prepared as I should have been. Um, and I think the nerves weren't there maybe because I didn't care for this meet. And that's another reason for me to, I know it's time to step back. Uh, and if there is, if there's another time that I really want to get after powerlifting, I can, I may, I probably will. Um, but I can't put a stamp on it. So, um, probably just didn't care enough. You know, probably just didn't care enough. And that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine. You know, people, what do you do it if you don't care? What do you do if you don't like it? I don't know. It's just what I do. It's just what I do. I like to compete. I like to compete in sports, although I don't like to compete in powerlifting. And so I threw my name in that, I, th I threw my uh, name in the hat and, and went after it. So on to the next thing, not a big deal. People make it a big deal. I make it a big deal, uh, but I'm trying not to. So as we talked about, Multiple priorities, YouTube and you guys are one of them. My Twitch community is one of them. Content creating, teaching, coaching, furthering everything that I'm doing. Uh, but for now, we're gonna move into that aesthetics life. So if you guys are into it, I'm gonna be hitting a little bit more bodybuilding, feeling a little bit better, some different things on the gym, uh, as well as the vlogs and everything else we do here. So I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the DMs, the tweets, the nice comments, even though I sucked at the meet. Uh, it really does mean a lot to have you guys have my back like that, even though uh, it was an underwhelming performance, but I appreciate you all. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Again, five videos a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, coming at you. Subscribe, Salam Mike. On to the next one. I'm out of here. I thought 
I had so much gamer in me, I could show up despite my prep, and I couldn't. I couldn't. So at least I know where that line is. You learn to adjust. It was shit prep, and I can't. I can't out game. I, I consider myself a gamer. I consider myself lights on, actions on. I do work, and I still think I do. But you can't do that despite lack of preparation. Um, lack of preparation makes cowards of us all.